Okay, so here's my 1973 914 2.0 liter, and I'm going to show you how to get the axles out. So I've already taken out the cotter pin, which holds this end to here, and some people use a breaker bar. Uh, I'm just going to use a an impact with a 30 millimeter socket, and it should make pretty quick use of it. Ready? Yep, there it goes. Nuts off. And then we have the actual axle there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nut, I'm going to invert it, and I'm going to put it on the axle shaft here, the threaded part. And I'm going to get it till it's flush. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take the washer off because that'll be easier. So the washer comes off, and then this goes back on. And what I want to do is I want to get it flush with the axle right there. See, it's nice and flush, right? And now I'm going to use the BFH against this nut that's flush against the axle so I don't ruin the threads to get this thing off. So oh, here we go. See, it's already coming through, which is great. Now I'm going to take this off before it gets in too deep to the bearing. And then just use the BFH a little lighter to get it the rest of the way out. And it's out. So to recap, impact wrench, excellent, or you can use a half inch or even better, three quarter or one inch uh, breaker bar, but you might also need a cheater bar, which is like a five foot piece of pipe. But um, this little Harbor Freight impact wrench with just a simple little compressor attached, it's only an eight gallon compressor, seemed to do the trick really well. So. Enjoy!